These are five of my favorite smart suit features that I really wish that we could have an Airtable. Now, I've been an Airtable expert for many years now, and I've built my whole business around Airtable, but lately, the last few months, I've started working with SmartSuit more and more in various projects. And these five things range from just simple nice-to-haves and quality-of-life improvements to simple deal breakers that oftentimes just make Airtable simply not usable. So if you're new here, hi, my name is Alex. And on this channel, we talk about automation, low code, automating, low code, AI, and everything in between. Without any further ado, let's get stuck in. Feature number one, and this is a very, very basic one, but there is a lot of clients who typically migrate from Excel into Airtable or into SmartSuite that are super used to being able to highlight the row based on some kind of status. So in Airtable, traditionally, as you can see, I've got like a status field. And over the years, the only way to highlight something without being too smart about it is to simply have a color condition, which kind of highlights that row, but from the leftmost field, which is not ideal. It's just like, it's not enough. Most clients just simply don't buy it. In SmartSuit, on the other hand, I can highlight the whole row. So as you can see, my status field, based on its coloring principle, it highlights the whole row, which makes a world of difference. Could be a make or break feature for certain clients. Feature number two that I can't live without, and that is very very straightforward. It's the sheer amount of fields that I have at my disposal. More specifically, field types that I have at my disposal with SmartSuit. Now, in Airtable, we do have about 20 different field types. Here, we have 47. And that makes big difference in terms of speed of development. I mean, of course, you can go ahead and you can check out what each field type does. I'm not going to do this right here, right now, but some of my favorites are some of their pre-baked array types of fields. For instance, like the address field, the full name field. What makes them special? If I want to add an address, I just double click on it and I immediately have the full set of fields. Now, within the API, you just have that array. You are able to extract that data. But typically in Airtable, I would have to create each one of these six fields. Moreover, I would have to come up with a country list. Like it's just such a nice quality of life improvement. Same thing goes for the full name of a person. Again, this is very repetitive. It happens in every single database and SmartSuit. I don't have to think about this. My next favorite field is the smart dog, which is kind of like a little notion esque attempt to make long text fields cooler, smarter. So let's see how this works. So I'm going to open this up and I'm just going to call this something like heading one, a brief history of hashtag BMW. The cool thing is that you can also mention records within this particular smart doc. Like you see, I've mentioned BMW. I can click on that and I can go straight into BMW's record, which is awesome. Moreover, here I can continue. I can probably add a divider line. And over here, I can even use AI to ask it to write a brief history of BMW. And as you can see, now it's going to start writing a brief history of BMW. How easy is that? And all I have to do is just press it. Now, there is an extra feature that I really like. And it's something, again, that has to do with the field types. But it's more along the lines that I can have control over the card view of a record. Now, for instance, we have the status field, right? The status field can be displayed like I have it here as radio buttons, but I can also modify it to be displayed as a simple dropdown, which is more classic in terms of display. The other cool thing is that I, I can change the layout of the card view right here as if this was almost like a web page. I can set it up to span only one column and then I can take the address field and I can bring it up closer or side by side rather 
to the status field, which kind of almost eliminates the need for interfaces. Okay, that's probably a little bit controversial. Uh, you do need interfaces, but still, it's such a nice thing to be able to do to control how your record detail layout is designed without trying to go and be super smart about it, like you usually have to be when you're using Airtable. So it's time for feature number three, and that is the ability to link records between bases and be able to edit them. And you don't even need an enterprise license for that as you would need in Airtable. So yeah, let's take a look. Here I have a database with just some kind of list of repair types. Let's say I want to link a record from my brands. Uh, we've got BMW, Tesla, Nissan, and Ford. I'm going to add a new field and let's choose the link record field type. And here I can choose which table I want to link to. So here I'm going to search for brand list. There we go. I can say that I want to allow or disallow linking to multiple records. Let's say we allow, and now we have the link to brand lists. So here I can now choose BMW to link, and I can even edit. You see BMW here is in another window, and I can make changes to that record. Let's say it's done. As soon as I press save, that will be changed to do, for instance, over on the other end in that other database, which has nothing really to do. It's a completely different solution. Now in Airtable, you can sync views, but as you probably already know, that is a difficult sort of thing to maneuver, but not with Smart Suite. Time for feature number four, and that is the ability to force people to input something in the leftmost field. Now, this has been the sort of blessing and curse of Airtable. Typically a blessing because when you initially start using it, you don't see this particular flaw, but really over time, this becomes a problem. Let me just demonstrate what that is. In Smart Suite, I can jump in and my leftmost field acts like a bit does in Airtable as the label for that record. Here, I can force people to input something. Otherwise, it just won't let me create that record. You see how I'm clicking out and it just doesn't store that record. I cannot create more records unless I input something. So let's say I input Jaguar. That's it. Record created. Fantastic. The other thing is that I can force users to input something unique at all times. So let's say I try and Jaguar again, the value should be unique. So these two things can really make or break an Airtable build. But here in Smart Suite, this is just a given. This is your day to day life. So, yeah, how cool is that? Now, the last feature that has been an absolute deal breaker for a lot of our Airtable clients, permissions. Permissions in Airtable, they are kind of difficult. It's, I think it's, it's a Achilles heel over the years. It's really difficult to make sure that the right people are able to see the right things within the grid view without resorting to building some kind of an interface. So here in Smart Suite, things are a little bit different. And you have a lot, a lot more control over what your users are able to see and do. So here I've opened up the page that goes through in detail about what you can do. And you can also watch the video with Dan Lehman, who goes through and briefly explains all the interesting things that you can do with permissions. Of course, it's by no means as comprehensive and feature rich and flexible as something like permissions within AppSheet or let's say bubble, but it's nowhere near the wild, wild west that is Airtable's permissioning setup that you're always faced with and you have to constantly think about who has access to what and how can we prevent the wrong people having access to the wrong data? Or how can we make sure that the right people have got access to the right data and that we don't overshare our data or not allow too many people to be able to edit data that we don't want them to edit. Super, super important point. And I think it's one of the biggest reasons why people 
typically would choose Smart Suite over Airtable. So that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching my five favorite Smart Suite features. Let me know down in the comments below what you thought about this list. Did you agree with the stuff that I like? Do you disagree? I'm really looking forward to hearing what you think. So that's it for me. Catch you in the next one.